Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. On February 2nd, 2024, I began playing Persona 3 Reloaded. The game immediately stood out to me, not just for its stunning visuals and smooth combat system, but also for the quality of life improvements that elevated the entire gaming experience to a new level of enjoyment. However, despite my fondness for it, I found myself unable to complete the game. A persistent thought nudged me towards Persona 5 Royale instead. Before we delve deeper into my adventure between these two exceptional titles, I'd like to ask a favour. If you enjoy this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. It would mean the world to me and could be your good deed for the day. Plus, for those of you interested in exploring these games yourselves, I'll be dropping the Steam links for Persona 3 Reloaded and Persona 5 Royale in the video description below. For those new to the series, Persona is in a league of its own. You play as a high school student juggling daily life, making decisions about school, friendships and how to spend your free time. Will you opt to work, hit the books or hang out with friends? And then as night falls, you venture into dungeons with your personas, summonable creatures used to combat shadows. The game masterfully combines elements of life simulation with dungeon crawling, granting a level of freedom that significantly influences both your storyline and progression in captivating ways. Whether you're deepening friendships to unlock new personas or earning money for gear, each choice intertwines with your journey, enhancing the depth and synergy of gameplay. Now, you might be curious if Persona 3 Reloaded was so appealing, why did I switch back to Persona 5 Royale? Truthfully, it boils down to my previous encounters with Persona 5 Royale. This is my third attempt at the game, a reflection of its enormity. Completing it can require up to 100 hours. My initial attempts at Persona 5 Royale were challenging. The first time, I couldn't surpass the game's inaugural main boss, and during my second try, the sheer length of the game felt daunting. However, my experience with Persona 3 Reloaded was a revelation. It illuminated the crucial role of deepening friendships to empower my personas, a gameplay element I had previously overlooked, having approached the game as a traditional JRPG. This newfound appreciation deepened my gameplay experience, making every decision and dungeon exploration more strategic and impactful. Nonetheless, the draw of Persona 5 Royale's confidence, central characters that influence your narrative, pulled me back. Despite an initial sense of burnout, I realised I hadn't fully embraced Persona 5 Royale, especially since its confidence intrigued me more in the first 20 hours. And that's why I've returned to the captivating world of Persona 5 Royale, determined to give it the comprehensive chance it truly deserves. What about you? Have you ventured into the Persona series? I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences, so please share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.